What advice do you have for someone wanting to start vlogging? All right, so main thing that people run into is being like self-conscious and like afraid to kind of film in public and stuff like that. If that is you, then I would encourage you to zoom out because nothing is ever embarrassing if you zoomed out. I mean, e even if it was something that was worth being embarrassed about, which it isn't, it still wouldn't matter when you zoom out. Like, like. Let's say that I trip over and my fucking face ends up in actual dog shit in front of those tiny birds and didn't laugh at me. So, once I've washed the actual shit off my face, everything is just normal again. No, nothing in reality has actually changed. Um, so, no situation can really be that that embarrassing if you're able to kind of zoom out and think about it rationally. So, aside from the whole self-consciousness issue, I would say, just don't overthink it, man. Like, you can't record clips and then record shit again, and then record shit again. Or everyone's like, this guy's a bit weird, man. Because you just, there's nothing worse than someone thinking, man. This is weirdly deep, but there's nothing worse than someone, someone thinking how to be, instead of just being, man. Like, I hate when I, I don't like when I speak to people and you can just see shit, like, you can just see in their eyes that they're just, like, calculating shit, man. Like, they're not, the thoughts aren't in line with the words. And it's like they're trying to kind of play chess with the conversation, they're, like, a few steps ahead and thinking, like, what will this person think if I say this and that? And it's just not natty. So, try and be natty is second tip. Especially in this coat. I don't know. Just a head. We went like here. Mags is complaining about pillows when finally I've got shit pillows. Alright, we're going to IKEA to get loads of stuff, mate. Feng Shui the shit out of our house. Not really. Our house? Uh, mine and Mike's. Oh. And then what are we doing next, babe? Haircuts. Haircuts, mate. Big haircuts. Ooh. Blends on the fucking blends, mate. Do you want to bro? Do you want to undercut that? I usually do that, just literally just block it off for the, just when it works. So you put it in, mate, it's supposed to be better. Whatever you want. This kind of stuff would just blow it in so it's not just shh off me head. Yeah. Too far it's away. Not, you got it cut into a lamp? I've never had it cut then. Yeah, that's cool. Is it it's just cut one lamp, do a one lamp, man. I'm still like intending on growing it, ideally. It's just because you got your layers are fucking mad, mate. You think about it, you're growing up him. Sure, so it's just gone like that. Yeah, 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 that's what it's like thinking. That, it, yeah. It's going like that. So where'd you cut from? Yeah. So what you gotta do, you gotta make it like that, man. Oh, he's parked it brilliantly. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go eat some Swedish fucking horse meat, mate. What you got? Dippy eggs. Dippy eggs, mate. Too soft, my head just sank right to the bottom, man. <laughs> yeah, she like Goldilocks. <laughs> I think she got Too hair. soft again. Too soft, this was the hardest so far. 40 quid! Jesus Christ, we're going up in the world, man. Too hard. Oh, this one's good, man. Ooh, I think that's the one. Fan. I think if you had two of those, it'd be the one, man. Well, Try that. I've got makeup on, though. Have you ever been nice? Nice. What are your thoughts on life, existence? Do you find it strange that we actually don't exist? This is crazy shit, man. Again, this is just like not useful, deep level philosophy that's just not 
It's still not helping anyone. I'm not going to answer that question. I don't give a fuck if I exist or not because it feels like I do. So as long as I feel like I exist, I'm, I'm actually fine with it, man. Even if I don't, everything else is still the same. Like, what's the actual, like, what, what, what makes a difference? What, what's the difference? Huh? Like, if I live in a simulation now, so what? I'm still a happy fucking cunt in a, sim in a simulation, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm still having a good time. If you're having a good time, you're having a good time, man. Where'd you say you booked that? Copenhagen, mate. Yeah. Nice. Going away, have the thing is, going away does blow your head, man. It's exactly how it should, but you it just should. On, you're in spot, like, on, yeah. if, you never, if you're not expecting that, kind of like... I'm going to say, man, you got to blow your head, man. Oh. Even, like, anything can. You can watch a film, you can be like, fuck, I need to live my life. Yeah, yeah. And just go into a bit of a stare or anything, man. I go into it, I see some of the sick ones, I see some artwork, I'm like... Oh, so I'm like, how do we get that in my life? Or how do we... I've taken back by it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get to the point where you... Because like, you're just too, like... New info, isn't it, mate? Just, exactly, you, yeah, you, yeah. You, you, like, you, really, you jam up for a second, man. You had something on your leg, and I was like, she got a mole. What is it? That I wasn't aware of, or a bruise you or something. You chocolate today, though. Well, you sat in some. Where from? Maybe it's off your button that you had before. Okay, but I didn't know you were walking. Sorry, people. Is that home with the Bundies? This is weekend episodes. I'm trying on shit. Maybe you shouldn't stand there. Why? Because like the light's not on you. I don't give a fuck, babe. I'll be be the fucking shadow. That's what they call me, man. That's what they used to call me when I was back in like the farm. What farm? Langley. Trying on some gym, some gym king shit. Cause I'm doing some Instagram posts for him. Oh, sick! I got a sleeveless, mate. That's good. That's what you want, mate. You want sleeveless because then it's easy to take pics in and relate it back to fitness. <laughs> If you sleeve this, you just get your arm in it and you're like, well, now it's fitness. So. Oh, babe! That way! Poly pant with piping. What the fuck's a poly pant? Oh, oh mate, it's a fucking lilo! <laughs> Can you see that? You can't hear. That's a lilo, mate. Oh, mate, that's sick. That's where I had to sleep for his home or something. IKEA update. Max won't make a candle. It's you not can't. a lit candle. I know you can't, can you? It sounds like burn one. We also got pillows, other shit. I tried the poly pant. Wow, oh, they're tiny. Yeah, they're gonna be tight, mate. Yeah, they're tight, they're mate. so tight in your butt. They are they're tight on the butt. On the butt. Turn around. You can think like, all right, well, do I agree with fucking the government and politics chat? But like, at the end of the day, you wanna do something interesting, run with your fucking life, mate. Right, regard and to a point that's like kind of regardless of anything else. Well, obviously, yeah, yeah, maybe fucking next level. Imagine the should be next level, mate. Oh yeah, yeah. Me mate, the lad that was in Thailand with us was an ethical hacker. No. Yeah. Fuck me, yeah, be interesting, mate. Works for a company that just tests security systems. Like, are you going to be in a calorie surplus for a longer period of time, five slash six months in the near future? Love you, Joe. Cheers, Mark. Love you too. Do I love you too? No. Um, all right, I'm gonna pass this question off to you. So I have a question for you. It is, do you want to see Joe Delaney do a big ass, long, slow, gradual, lean bulking phase? And before you actually answer that question, I want you to know fully what that entails for us both. Because the truth about bulking, <laughs> that should be that should be hang on, the shocking truth about bulking. That should be the. Uh, that should be the clickbait title of this video. It's not going to be, but, you know. Um, the truth about bulking is that it's kind of fucking boring, at least compared to cutting, because all the kind of feedback you get in, the results is like tiny increases in your weight, tiny increases to your lifts, bit by bit by bit by bit, and it's so gradual that it's actually, I don't think it's something you can make a full series about. The series can, or, or at least if you did, it wouldn't be, like, you couldn't be doing physique updates every week, man. Because it's just the same, you know. It'd have to, you know, focus on other shit as well. Um, so, it might be fucking boring. Also, shit like getting pictures in the gym and stuff like that. If you shred it, you can just go bang, picture, done. It looks sick. Smash it up. It's taking like 30 seconds. 
if you kind of a bit more body fat, you're trying to get a picture that you're happier than that, it takes a bit longer, man. So these are the considerations, but let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that I should commit to a, a long ass boat, or do you think I should just like get and stay fucking ruthlessly abnormally shredded for the rest of my life, try and maintain that as best I can, and just focus on other shit? Like, I mean, I'll be focusing on other shit as well, but you answer, please. Let me know, I will take into consideration your opinions, your needs and wants. Do you want me to try these on for you? Yeah, go on. You know what I don't like though? What? The length of the lace is an aggressive length. Is it? You could you skip like with that. Access, yeah. Honestly, go skipping with it. What do you reckon? Oh, yeah, sick. Get that quad out. Lift. Wow, what a quad, mate. That's what? sick quad, that. VA yeah, just lost like a fuckload of people's like credit card info and shit. And they're like a massive company that that's grossed in really that should have the sickest security going, but the thing is, like, you can't defend against shit like that when it's like, you got really like, see you against, IT. The, you against the world, mate. Think about how fucked up it is, though, man, because, like, cover this off. When people well. know stuff, know how to, like, manipulate kind of anything with an internet connection, if you can manipulate general fucking interface electronics that, that easily, what's to stop them just banging a few zeros in the bank account, man? Surely yeah, someone yeah, can do yeah, that, man. Do, yeah, do you know what I mean? If someone can get it's behind... Digital software, isn't it? Yeah. Like, why can't you do that, man? Because yeah. if it says that, mate, then the proof of... People proof must, it's been, mate. It's been time, but it must be hard, man. That's the pro problem with everything being fucking digital, man. People lose shit, Yeah, man. fucking Bank contactless digital, cards, man. like Apple Pay, Google Pay. I'm a guy, man. Everything, mate. Just found a house, lad. Like, I'm trying to free, like, fucking six grand. Let me start this bank account, man. Yeah, cost him his house, mate, because it fell through, he's gonna get back into it. Someone went on holiday with my fucking car one time. What the fuck? Yeah, someone booked a... It was like blatantly just fucking off, it was like a flight, then like a hotel. <laughs> like, some of cheeky as fuck, like travel insurance or something, do you know what I mean? Really? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, just like, flatten them on everything, man. Travel insurance. And then they're like, oh, is this definitely you? Is this, de is this definitely not you? And I'm like, mate. Did not book a flight from fucking Lithuania, man. Good, yeah. yeah. Food. Come on, babe. Wow, oh, it smells nice, mate. What's your leg there? Yeah, it's too fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd get a snack. She's cooking for me, though. Oh, yeah. Starts at three. Gonna Instead of bringing barges, mate. Do you feel you fulfilled your personal standards in life? Uh, in some ways, like, but in other ways, nah, not whatsoever. Like, you, you stand your personal kind of standards, I suppose. I suppose that means what you want from life. It's always changing, man. Like, you get it and then you want something else. And then you get that and then you want something else, man. But that's great. That's fucking, that's the good thing, man. People people think that not being satisfied is bad, but not being satisfied is great, man. Because you keep busy, mate. You keep entertained. You keep on the fucking quest for something. You know, progression is like what, is what makes you content, I think. Literally, I, I think that's, the key fucking point right, in, in maintaining some level of like just general fucking inner peace man <laughs> like just being a stagnant motherfucker or like looking back at on your life and thinking oh it was like I was in the same position like three years ago or five years ago or ten years ago that feels like it would be tremendous amount of just mental torture for me. Like, you have to just keep, you have to be doing something, man. You have to be moving. So yes and no. Like, and that, and in, in a sense, like you're never gonna, you're never gonna have achieved like everything you want to achieve, and that's fucking great. Right? It just means that, it just means that you want, which is which is human, man. Do you want there's another um, Spice documentary, you know? Uh, so you know the Vice one? Nah, nah, a, a recent one, 2018. That's really? Yeah, by, uh, I think it was BBC Three. Oh, you really? might have been, uh, might have been Uni Lad. 
I think it was uni lad. I've seen it in uni lad, I've just watched that uni lad one. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to watch my mum and dad, mum and dad. I don't know, man. I'm only out of here because I don't want to watch my mum and dad, like my brother and sister. That guy, one guy in it. I don't know, there's a... There's one champ in there, he's just like... There's one main... Oh, yeah, 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 him, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and he says, he says he's on crack, heroin and spice. Nah, he looks quite bad, man. He said he got on spice because he thought he could get off heroin and crack, but now he's just on all three. Yeah, yeah. He said he was like, uh, he said in the morning, every morning, like if he goes, he picks up all three, and then that, and that's it. Man. I know, man. Every day. Yeah, every 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 morning at six a.m. he picks up all three. Then. Yeah. Say tonake with roast chicken, kale, pine nuts, parmesan, and basil. Tonake looks fucking rude, mate. Well, it'd be all us, and then uh, I, I invited like all the people in Thailand with as well. So imagine about like probably six to eight of them will come. So, a couple of girls from Liverpool. You know what you want? Nah, mate, we've been trying to fucking decide. I want to do something funny. Do you know what to do something funny? Yeah, I do, yeah, but, but that's it, man. Girls want to look tidy. Yeah, like, you're looking like focused a bit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, I said to her, we should go with Joey D, Tommy B. Yeah. She, she can go, she can go with me, and I'll go yeah. with you. I said, go, I said go with Shred Bundy. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm more with Shred Bundy. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? I have absolutely no idea, but we're gonna find out. You know, we are gonna find out. If you're here in five years, you will find out, man. Because I'll be here. So. Not here, as in, in Manchester, in my apartment, but like here in front of a screen. What do you find is the best way of blocking out negative attitudes from other people? And what about if it's not necessarily haters, but it might just be your friends taking the piss? If it's your friends taking the piss, I would say that's just, I'd say fucking get over it, man, because that's what, that's what mates do. It's funny. I'd say just deal with it, take, take the piss back about something. Just arm yourself, man. Start ripping into your mates about something about them. You know what I mean? If it's just friends taking the piss, then I wouldn't count it as negativity, like or hate or anything like that. It's just it's not even something that needs to be considered, is it? You know. Now, if they're doing it like just for the fucking lols, that sound. But if they have like underlying intentions of like doing it to actually like put you down and shit, then obviously you have to try and realise that and. Uh, you know, act accordingly, aka don't hang out with mates who are like not supportive. You know what I mean? Because they sound like bellens. If that's, unless they're just taking a piss, in which case it's sound. In terms of general negativity, like, I don't know, it doesn't really. Just be busy, man. Just be busy with your own shit. Be committed to your own fucking path. Like, if you. You know. It's just not. A the, it's not relevant, man. Negativity is not relevant, right? Because you just, you're just doing you, like, just busy, like, living how you want to live, doing what makes you happy, you know. That feel when you get to the gym and there's a huge puddle that you have to get through. You can do proper river crossing here. You have to do like river crossing protocols. Yeah, yeah. you have to do like a uh, take it off. Like the zebra shit, man. Put it in your bag. Put your gore sex on. Swim across with your gore sex on. Weapons on top of um, day sex. Okay, let's go. How do you actually get across though? Oh, can we go in up there? No, we can't. No. No. Alright, let's get across.
Anyway, got everyone. Look at the back, it's tidy, mate. It's messy, isn't it? Where? I put that thing in my story before that you filmed. You know, just my head, the super zoom thing. Yeah. And someone messaged me saying, "Hey, there. This is the kind of this kind of messages I get on. Please get a haircut. I beg you, G. I beg you." Please get a haircut, I beg you. That's extreme, man. You know what I mean? Mm. Who's arse that much, man? People are actually arse, right? Do you know what I mean? You have to be surprised how many people are arse about what your hair looks like. But the thing is, in some senses, like, I do understand because if I watch YouTubers and they've got shit hair, sometimes I'm like, oh, mate, I kind of don't want to watch you as much when you've got shit hair. Do you know what okay. I mean? I don't want to name names, like, I don't want to publicly call people's hair out, like... I just mean, like, shit according to my personal preference. When people make bad hair choices, you're like, ugh. What's an example of bad hair choices? It's just like, and people who, people who generally just look grubby in it. You just don't, you just don't want to watch them, man. It's just not a pleasant view on your screen, mate. Mm. Like, that's why you just try not to be a scruff in it. Yeah. But, like, but the thing is... W w yeah, so what, I'm a scruff, man. What was I saying? Oh, be, oh, the thing is with growing your hair, like, being a scruff comes inherent with that process, man. It's part and parcel, like, you have to go through, you have to be a scruff at times, like. Depends how you carry it off, man. Who gives a fuck in the end, man? A lot of people, but... You know what I mean? I'm not even growing my hair because I prefer long hair necessarily. I just want, I just, just an experiment, man. If you can't experiment, the thing is, you have to experiment on yourself because you can't experiment on other people. That's not fair, like. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's not allowed, is it? You've only got your own fucking, your own body to experiment with, man. So, well, unless you've got a burden, then technically you, should, you can do something. Depends what kind of experiments, man. But if you grow on your hair, you have to grow your own. <laughs> 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 you know, because, like, it's just interesting, isn't it? I don't want to be 80 and look, look at pictures of myself and think, fuck me, you were shredded, but I wonder what you would have looked like shredded with long hair. That's just not a thought that I want to die with, man. No, you know. Well, now I know. Well, I'm not that sure at the moment, but I mean, it's not as long as it's gonna be. But it's not even a preference, mate. It's just a fucking, it's just a new gives a fuck thing. I'll shave it off one day. I would shave it like right down to the fucking bone, but my head's shaped like a fucking piece of fresh ginger, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally knobbly as fuck, mate. I don't know if I got smashed about when I was a kid. <laughs> I definitely split my head open when I was a kid and I've got a big bump on the back, but that's not really the main one. I've got a bump there as well. Just just mad bumps in my skull that just fucked up, mate. <laughs> they look like a fucking spud one. Do you want know to get cheap sweets and like home bargains and that? And, like the misshapen ones, that's what my head's like. Got moles everywhere as well. You just don't, no one wants to look at a mole. <laughs> it's just not an attractive part of anything. Like it's, People can have like, some birds can have like one little like freckle and it's cute or whatever. But no one wants to look at big fucking 3D moles, man. The round, mate. I've got loads, so you gotta cover them with your hair. 